The at Dark Side Al account created by digital artist Milan Haram has become the talk of the town for reimagining the classic NBC show, The Golden Girls, with the popular video game Mortal Kombat. This is hilarious already, and as the four actresses of the show are no longer with us, the Golden Girl fans are using this opportunity to recall the funny moments from the show. One user said, quote, more Golden Girls everything, please, end quote, and we can't agree more. I do not want to miss a single chance chance of watching Betty White on screen. I miss her. We all do. She was funny, sexy, an amazing person, and a strong LGBTQ plus ally, and she loved animals. So what are we all talking about? Have you been seeing like all the posts the last couple of weeks that everybody's been posting about themselves, like through Lenza, looking yeah. like AI? Yeah. And that's basically what they did with the Golden Girls. Except they're so much more fabulous than me in some contrived AI. These things are so... Cool. Two things I loved when I was late teens and early 20s. Playing Mortal Kombat mm -hmm. and watching the Golden Girls. Finish him! And like, right, that was from Mortal Kombat, right? Finish yes, him? Yay! Yes. I remember it. Look at me with pop and we've got And we've got my um, my Golden Girl blanket I today. I love that. Uh, you know, it's in the Andy Warhol style to see how the girls would have been reimagined. So I love that. Yeah. I, I like that. I might have. I might like that better than the AI, actually. I yeah, right? Know. Isn't this cool, It Sophia? really is yeah. cool. Yeah, the blanket smells a little, but that's okay. Um, well, it's, it's also Lady Buttons of Camelot's uh, it's your favorite kitties. blanket. It's so I basically, I took her bed. So we need to... To get this back to her as soon as it, because when I was we holding will. it up, she was looking at me like, the hell? I'm going to scratch her eyes out in yep. bed. Yep. Watch. And lady will do that. Uh, who's your favorite? Uh, I think it was always uh, Sophia. It Picture was. it. Sicily, 1945, right? Yeah. And she was wonderful. Uh, they gave her great storylines uh, on the show, but just the way she delivered it. You know, you always... Uh, knew that she was so in touch with her craft. Yes. It was just such a pleasure to get to watch her. And as a kid, you're like, oh, she is a grandmother telling people my parents' age uh, what to think. So yeah. as a, looking at it from the other lens, I was able to go, oh, yeah, mom and dad, whatever Sophia said. Whatever Sophia says. And, you know, they were so ahead of their time, John. Like, they touched on so many different topics that people still to this day are afraid to talk about. Uh, oh. LGBTQ topics, alcoholism, drugs, abortion. I mean, they really hit all these topics that people were afraid to touch during that time. And I think they got away with it because it was for older women. Yes. You know? And um, everybody always told me that I was Dorothy. I wanted to be Blanche. So I grew up to be Blanche. <laughs> Yeah, you grew up to be Blanche, all right. <laughs> That's what happens. Like, every time I come up with some crazy sex story, I don't come up with them. You know, they really they, happen. They happen, yeah. My wife will say, is this another Blanche story? And I'm like, yes. Yes, it is. You know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, you know, will we ever get tired of Golden Girl stuff? I don't think so. I don't think so either. I mean, this was the 80s. Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah, 80, late 80s to 92. Okay. And it didn't have like 13 seasons or anything, but we're still, yep. they still play it on reruns. You know, my wife watches it all Sunday. They play all of them, oh, like yeah. all day Sunday. And I find something new in these episodes that I've seen 50 million times. Yeah. Yeah. So give me more, give me more Golden Girls, give me Golden Girls everything. I know that they had opened up a restaurant, a Golden Girls restaurant. Do you remember that? Yeah. In New York, and I think we talked about it. And um, we always have the Golden Gays, who we love and adore, and they always tour the country doing um, a parody of the Golden Girls stuff. So more Golden Girls. I'm here for it. Anytime. Thank you for bringing in your blanket. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> that kind of looks like... <laughs> like Princess Diana upside down, doesn't it? Ooh, it kind of does, yeah. Right? Doesn't it kind of look like that? Okay, yeah. You go, Blanche. You go, Blanche, Blanche. looking Blanche. like Princess Diana. I mean, you're both dead. That's probably all you have in common. Mm. But anyway. She's more like Camilla in the 70s, but we're not going to go Ooh, there. Camilla, but see that. She just was never going to be pretty. Poor Camilla, but she ended up with a dude. Anyway. So, did you enjoy the show? I know you did. So make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news, or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen, right there, so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.